Hi, I'm Hagen Jenich. I'm a consultant orthopedic surgeon and I specialize in shoulder and elbow surgery. Common causes of shoulder pain are mainly relating to the various different age groups. For instance, in the youngsters, it is due to trauma and we get injuries to the collarbone or the shoulder joint itself. The older we get, the more likely they're relating to impingement type problems, and these are relating usually to the rotator cuff. This can be tears, this can be purely impingement whereby the tendon catches against the tip of a shoulder, or in the uh, really older patients, we see then arthritis, which may be the consequence of a worn tendon that has completely failed and led to arthritis or simple wear and tear arthritis. You often be told by a physiotherapist that you have got impingement, but there can be a, a, quite a significant number of different causes for it. Classically, it's impinging of the rotator cuff underneath the tip of the shoulder, but any rotator cuff problem with rotator cuff tears, calcium buildup within the tendon can also lead to the same symptoms as do arthritis in the shoulder joint or a frozen shoulder, but also, sadly, sinister problems like bone cancers that might have spread to the shoulder. Similar to the types of injuries we see and problems we see, we also cater for operations and they range from simple keyhole operations, which might be therapeutic or reconstructive, right up to joint replacement surgery. And this can include specialist shoulder replacements as well. Uh, the answer is simply is uh, do your sport well technically and uh, avoid, um, for instance, in tennis, uh, bad technique, bad shots, um, but also warm up properly, stretch, and uh, avoid, particularly the older we get, prolonged overhead work. Also, I would say, uh, if you're over 40, uh, I don't think HIT classes are for us. Generally, the majority of uh, shoulder conditions uh, can be dealt with by a physiotherapist initially, but if there is no response to treatment beyond a couple of months, then it's definitely justified to see a shoulder specialist, uh, simply to make sure there's nothing sinister going on. But equally, if one has got an injury, uh, then generally it is advisable to seek uh, at least um, a, a specialist opinion early on to ensure that there is nothing missed that could be not corrected later on.